What's going on, good people? I'm Trayvon Miles alongside Jeff Harris. And welcome into the Delmarva Sports Insider. That's exactly right. It's the only show giving you in-depth analysis to all local sports here on Delmarva. No reason to keep you waiting. Let's get into what we have going on in our show tonight. A thriller in Summer League action. As crazy as that yep. sounds, that actually happened this week. We were there to catch it. That's coming up. Also coming up on tonight's show, oh a boy. brand new segment, look at this, <laughs> of After the Whistle featuring one of the hardest hitters in the Bayside. And later on, we're introducing you to the Don Bennett's Montre Nickel and his quest for next week's Kids Junior got some Olympic yep. Trials. Exactly right. Welcome to the show. You, of course, know and love. It's DSI again, once again, coming to you live from our studios here in Salisbury. We've got another jam-packed show action uh, we in our second week of summer already can you believe it uh, and as we noticed last week summer league basketball in snow hill a lot of basketball yeah, right yeah getting more competitive and actually heating up should, yeah. a little bit so we take you to the youth care center uh they were taking on the cats the home team was snow hill jay airs with a nice spin move turns that into a three the next ycc possession airs picked off jerome mitchell of delmar going the other way and other he's gonna way, roll yep. it in for two easy YCC leading by 12 at halftime, and they would begin to pour it on late. Shaquan Mitchell, how about that layup right there? Williams takes it from half court for the layup, and then the Cats look to make a late run. Jeremiah Lumpkin Beal gets it to TJ Gibson under the basket, and he's going to get the layup to fall. Williams would get the alley oop for the two handed Ooh. slam. How about that? Snow Hill's got some you, talent kid. coming. YCC down in the Cats, 47 to 33. About 10 feet away over on court one, Team Aaron's <laughs> taking on Arcadia. Check out Nigel Houston driving to the basket, forcing contact and getting the bucket to fall. But Arcadia would strike back. Tyre Bibbins gets the steal about midcourt, takes it himself. Good for two of his seven first half points. Aaron's though would have an answer. Joseph Collins gets it under the basket and lays it in for two. Pretty easy there. Aaron's would lead 26 to 15 at the half. Arcadia looking to make a push in the second. Kai Wharton gets the pass in the corner. He drains the triple, but Aaron's would eventually pull away in this one. Tyon Matthews gets the inbounds pass in the left corner and splash. That three goes down as Aaron's, they drop Arcadia 46 to 26. Team Chaos taking on the Shore shots and the Shore Hots shots looking to make a second half push. Ryan Waters, how about that shot right there from the corner and then Waters Going to find a wide open Kai Sterling. And of course, he's knocking down the three. But Team Chaos, a little too much to handle. The soon to be junior, Jaden Baker, uh, looking like he did last year. 24 is coming back in full force next year with full a force. That's right. layup right there. And then in true midseason form, off the missed three. Check Baker out, Look running down the rebound, sprinting down the floor. Money. Yep. Just a pull up right there. That, that's all he needs. Drains the jumper right there from the elbow and then sealing the deal, Matt Lowe. Difficult finish in the lane right there. That guy's going to have a tough senior season next year. Team Chaos down in the short shots, 48 to 39. Man, Jaden Baker reminded me of a young Jeff Harris out there on the court. Uh, yeah, please. Sure thing, also in action, <laughs> taking on Arcadia, a team we just saw. Sure thing, playing from behind. You saw Howard Morton finding Jair Long over in the wing for the three. Then Morton takes it himself, receives the feed, knocks down the mid-range jumper from just behind the free throw line. Sure thing, they would pull ahead in the second. Long once again from practically the same spot, able to connect for Arcadia. Box would out. jump in front with under a minute to play with a chance to cut into the lead. Morton, the free throw, no good. They have to foul. Arcadia connects on one of two free throws. Sure thing with a chance here, but check it out. They cannot hit the three as time expires. Arcadia, they escape, topping sure thing. 59 to 56. Jeff, it's really great to see these guys gearing up for next year. And as competitive as this league already is, we know it's only going to get better as uh, as the season continues uh, and playoffs approach uh, in that league. Also in Delaware, we've got some guys right, yeah. uh, doing the same, but they're preparing a little different. They're preparing for the next level in some college action. Yeah, it's almost crazy to think about, right? So yeah. we're in June, of course, midway, yeah. almost towards the end. Yeah. It's the 23rd and we're just months away from the fall season. season, it's yeah, pretty crazy. You know, we have a lot of events happening. Yeah. Football season is coming up, and you know, it's actually a pretty special event yeah. happening right now as we speak over at the University of Delaware tonight, involving some of the top senior football players from the state of Delaware. For more on tonight's festivities, Jonah Restuccio is standing by inside Delaware Stadium. 
Thanks, guys. Now, it's officially summer, so it's not really football season to shine, but today we can make a pretty good excuse for it. It's the 63rd annual DFRC's Blue Gold Football All-Star Game. For those that may not be familiar, the DFRC, or the Delaware Foundation Reaching Citizens, is a foundation that aims to enrich the lives of Delawareans with an intellectual disability. And going on behind me right now, it's the Blue Gold All-Star Game. Yes, it's a very special game. It's not only here to raise money for the foundation, but about the buddy system. Throughout the year, the senior participants, not just those on the field, but the cheerleaders and the student ambassadors, they're paired up with a buddy. Now, the buddy, he is, he or she, excuse me, is a young adult through the hand-in-hand -hand program through the DRFC that gets paired up with one of these senior participants through the school year. And it all culminates and ends right here on this football field for the All-Star Game. It's a great sight to see to kind of see the buddies meet up with their players or the cheerleaders or the ambassador before the game with, of course, Buddy the Bear, who else? So it was a great sight to see, and it shows that it's not really about football today. It's just a celebration of what they've done this past year. And if you want, were wondering about the football game, well, the gold team, which features 29 Henlopen Open Conference athletes, they're up right now 6 to nothing. The first quarter just ended, and Milford's David Bowman was the lone touchdown scorer. I think he scored enough touchdowns uh, about three, four months ago out at Milford High School as he's the all-time leader in school history so he had a rushing touchdown near the end of that first quarter to give the gold team a six to nothing lead now we'll be back towards the end of the show with an update on the game and a little more about the foundation but trey and jeff send it back to you in the studio for now reporting from the university of delaware jonah restuccio 47 abc man absolutely love that game and love the calls the drfc puts on every year it's such a special event. We're talking about the buddies and the buddy system, and you know we were looking through some old programs yeah. from a few years ago, yeah. and the smiles on these kids' faces yeah. when Amazing. they're out there Second with some of these kids. Yeah. We, of course, see David Bowman going to yeah. play at the Division One level, mm -hmm. as Jonah mentioned. So for these kids to be out there, yeah, it's fun for these football players, but you know for some of these special buddies to have yeah. this opportunity is fantastic. And even funner for us to see, because we see some of the top talent in Delaware one more time before they head off to the college level. Especially now that they can kind of, you know, Friendly, yeah. I yeah. guess you could yeah. say, put the pads on <laughs> as again. Much, as, much you know, friendly, post, as friendly as it gets. They still want to win. Exactly. But now they get a nice souvenir, a nice jersey there. But with that point, we do have to step away. We're taking our first com commercial break. But when DSI returns, an inspiring story about a father and a son who look out for one another when the goings get tough. Stick with us. DSI will be right back. My name is Jaden Baker from Wahai, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.